Number one thing in any product you're using from personal care product, whether it's your soap, shampoo, uh, cosmetics, uh, your laundry detergent, even your dish, dish detergent, your floor cleaner, everything that you're using, avoid fragrance. Fragrance mm-hmm. is like the number one because to make fragrance, fragrance actually is this like blob term that you could have contained more than 3000 chemicals and there's no regulation whatsoever. Whenever you see fragrance, 95% of the time, 99% of the time, you're going to find phthalates in that fragrance. Mm-hmm. Um, but also pay close attention to natural fragrance because we have seen there's a huge clean beauty movement, meaning, you know, they use better ingredients, cleaner. It's a good thing. Mm-hmm. However, <laughs> this comes down to when we get into, you know, with food, with plastic thing, mm-hmm. it's the same thing with products is that when you have, when people use natural fragrance, usually it's essential oils or botanical extracts. Same thing happen is that you don't really know during this processing, if they use plastic, if they heated plastic, what mm-hmm. kind of processing they use, they actually introduce a ton of contaminants into the products, even though you think you're using a natural product, but you're not. So the safest choice is fragrance free, including natural fragrance, okay. including essential oils, so just fragrance free. And then mm-hmm. don't get, don't be fooled by, um, by product labeled like um, no scent, unscented. So unscented is actually a scent. It's not, <laughs> it's not like a fragrance free. So yeah, make sure you yeah. have fragrance free, not unscented. The other thing is the uh, manufacturers also started using words like aroma. <laughs> I mean, aroma is just fragrance. So um, yeah. make sure you look for fragrance free. Okay. Usually that's one of the biggest one, fragrance free. Um, the second is uh, a few other kind of like poster child chemicals. One is paraben. So mm. parabens mm. has been used as preservatives in a lot of products um, and look for paraben free. Um, one area that we have not been able to find paraben free stuff uh, products is the over, over the counter ornament or cream. Mm. So many people use these hydrocortisol cream to mm-hmm. control their eczema or like rash or mm-hmm. whatever. And hydrocortisol cream is one area that we have not seen a lot of paraben free stuff. Ooh. So, um, if you have to use it, use it sparingly, don't just put all over because you're going to get that paraben exposure. And then lastly is the uh, summer is about to be over, but, um, mm. should still be using sunscreen. Mm-hmm. So in sunscreen, make sure you choose a minimal mineral sunscreen rather than a chemical based sunscreen. Mm. So the chemical based sunscreen, usually they have, um, the chemical called benzophenol or oval benzone. So these chemicals are also hormone disrupting chemicals, not only they're hormone disrupting chemical, they're also kill coral reefs. That's why Hawaii bet them. They're still in a ton of products, like a ton of sunscreens. So when you purchase your sunscreen, make sure it's a mineral sunscreen. It's not chemical sunscreen. It's frequency free and it's always good to read the label. So when you flip over um, your product, there's always a list of ingredients. So make sure in that ingredients, it doesn't have it doesn't have over benzone or benzophenol, like any of these um, chemicals. So um, that's what to recognize in, in, in sunscreen.